Hi guys, welcome back to our segment Where is the Coffee? I am your host Zati and this is Suwa. Today we have our two special guests and before we get started, let's get introduced to our guests today. Okay, hey everyone. My name is Muhammad Fikoyumi Muhammad Yunus and I'm from Faculty of Mechanical Engineering and I am a second year student of Diploma. My name is Dashini, I'm 19 years old. I'm studying in FKKK, currently doing my SAM 1. Okay, thank you. I hope you guys uh, stay tuned with our uh, segment for today because this is our final episode of uh, Where is the Coffee? Let's get straight into our topic today. Uh, university expectation versus reality. Let's go into our first question. So I want to ask, what were your expectations before you come to the university? Like, uh, we have watched a lot of movies, right? So what were your expectations before you come here? Yeah, my expectation is like... I got to go to class with my friends and go for evening activities like go for rugby or other sports. But when I first came here in UTEM, you know the COVID-19 pandemic, right? And I was so frustrated because we do have class, but then we are sitting right in our rooms and we listening to all life. the lectures and I don't get to taste the, the life of a student in a university. You guys know what I'm saying, right? Yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah, get we it. got online for two years. Yes, for two years. It's okay, very frustrating. How about so, you? How the expectation here was when I came first to UTEM, I didn't know the UTEM would be so big. It was so huge that I was amazed. And then, it was fun here, going evening, playing with my friends and all that, going jogging and playing with my friends. It was fun. Going but right now, we have, uh, we have... Uh, what about your reality? I mean like in your reality, did your reality meet met your expectations? Yeah, according to what I said, uh, I must say no, but fortunately this semester we have a face-to-face -face class and I'm very thankful that the government let the university students to experience face-to-face -face class, especially right before I finish my diploma here in Utah. Yes and a no also. <laughs> Why do you say so? Because some of it, I agree that my expectation it reaches, but some of that I don't agree because what I thought it didn't happen because of the online and all that, online studies and all, so because of that. Uh, I, I think I have an education. <laughs> it's really like, uh, how about your activity in uh, while evening? I mean, like, what do you... What do you expect and what do you you do in reality? Oh, um, these are your classes. These are classes. My expectation, I will go uh, to the field to play sports with my friend. Maybe I go jogging, futsal. You know, boys like to go futsal. And also, I get to meet uh, this one friend who play rugby during his secondary school. So yeah, uh, in this semester, I get to play with my friends during the evening. Because of the pandemic, I never get a chance to go for sport because of the SOP and something. Uh, yeah, I got to play with my friends. You have missed sport so much. Can yes. You yeah. I also consider that I thought that I will play in sport in the evening, but but then it's never. I can't even go to the cafe. <laughs> <laughs> Why you you can even? Then I came here too because uh, when I came here it was during pandemic too. Oh. So uh, we are in same year, right? Yeah, yeah. So okay, what you expected about our food and at Utah food? What I mean, since yeah. we are in Malacca, right? I'm pretty sure you all are from different state, right? Since we are in Malacca, how's Malacca food? Would you rather choose Malacca food or your hometown food? I would choose my hometown food because it's kind of different in Malacca, a different style of food. So sometimes I don't get used to the food here and all that. Can so, I know where are you from? I'm from Ipoh. Uh, you? Vera. I'm from Negeri Sembilan. Oh, Negeri Sembilan. So, how do you cope up with food here? Actually, I don't mind about the food here, but it, it, it's a life. I don't miss my mom's cooking, right? But as a man, I should be strong and not to try to be homesick <laughs> because it will be emb uh, embarrassing for me to cry like a baby when I miss my mom's cooking but yeah uh, Yutem's food is not that bad but I can survive here 
Yeah, I mean it's normal right to miss your mom's food, like food and rice. So yeah, we understand, right? Our Zati cafe also. You? Yeah, our cafe also serve a uh, good food, Susie. And next question from me. Um, how you get involved uh, to the club? Oh, um, when I first came in here, um, there was a senior that supposed to in charge uh, of the new students. So then I tried to make connection with this person, and he he saw potential in me, and he tried to recruit me to go into the Farmesas Club, you know, Farmesa, the Faculty of Mechanical Engineering Student Association, and also he was also in Jaxis, and. He brought me into, and he started to introduce me with uh, a lot of new people, you know, the seniors, experienced people, and that's how I get in. Oh, from in my condition, I think that I go online, so I need to search any any club so to get involved. It must be hard for you to search online because yeah. you don't know how the procedure. And is. I don't have friend at that time. So, what do you expect from that club? Uh, do you have involved in any good activity? Any they didn't meet your expectation? Uh, it really uh, meets my expectation. Uh, like I would have uh, new connections, I would, like get to know experienced people, and it really teach me a lot on how to organize uh, an event and how to do all the paperwork and what is the procedure and the manners to uh, organize uh, to meet uh, such as the lecturer, the staff, the procedure, and also. Uh, you have you need to uh, pursue them with manners and not like uh, yeah not like being rude you know because that is that is wrong like follow the mm. protocol like that right yeah they, they have protocols and all that i agree with you because we are involved in activity and we go find um, good individual people and from also this them organizes a lot of events right yes yeah from uh, from our activity, I mean like from our program that we are involved, uh, we get to know uh, people, right? Yes. So sometimes, um, I think, um, uh, how about uh, your classmate? Is it, uh, is it they join you? Uh, is it, are you self? Uh, I do invite my classmate to join me. Uh, some of them want to join me, but uh, some of them don't because they, they cannot really manage their time with all the works but it is same to me also but uh, they are, I got advice a lot of from my seniors and this is okay you can do it just manage your time properly and you'll be fine yeah. Dashni anything you want to say about your club or? Um, basically I came to this club because I knew someone that when I went for organize organization and I met her so oh, she invited you yes <laughs> I never <laughs> met someone so she invited me here. Uh, so actually I was wondering all this while. What would you be what would you guys be doing right now if you were not in U10? Like were you, uh, did you have any alternative if you, if you didn't get to university like that? Me, I'll be either doing my STPM or my foundation. That's the only choices I have. <laughs> so how about you? Maybe my I will go to for matriculation college soon because I don't want to be in foundation because I know there's a lot of pressure going on uh, if we go further our study by pursuing foundation first you know because there's short same and you have to maintain your point you know your CGPA you know otherwise if you don't maintain your CGPA you will be kicked out and you'll be done yeah, you need to maintain uh, your energy and your study and keep focusing on us. And our lecture also good in guide us and teach us. Okay, I would you. like to okay. I would like to ask him about how you um, did you think about relationship the relationship with someone? Relationship <laughs> with like you know like friends? Oh uh, no, mean? I mean like another relationship. Uh, <laughs> having a girlfriend, having a boyfriend. Um uh, actually I'm not thinking uh, to go through that yeah, because uh, you are you know, not ready for that or what? <laughs> no, you know what is important what is the most important thing in a relationship is the commitment understanding between a man and a woman but what if she doesn't understand if I'm busy and she would think that I'm cheating on her uh, it is too deep <laughs> <laughs> because we need to make friends so 
that's why we call it commitment. Although yeah. so besides that, is it fun studying in UTEM? Like, did you meet your expectation in UTEM? Not like generally about universities, but in our universities. Uh, yes, I had fun uh, learning in UTEM because I don't really expect that I go to the laboratory and doing all the uh, machine stuff and, and so on and I got to learn how to weld, welding properly uh, and so, oh my god, I get to play this uh. <laughs> <laughs> You call it play <laughs> Yeah So, did it meet your expectation, Dashni? Yeah, I get to learn so many new stuff and I get to go to the lab to put my hands on on the stuff and do it by myself so, did you uh, like? Did you expected your lecturers to be like your high school teachers? Like, uh, how how is it here studying with these lecturers compared to your high school teachers? First, when I came here, uh, I expected it to be like that. But my father did give me a heads up. Uh, your lecturer is not going to be like your high school. If you don't go to class, they will they will scold you, right? But in here, if you don't go to class then it's up to you and then you have to retake all the examinations and you extend until you maybe you get old or something your time will be wasted yeah you, my time will be wasted yeah because your attendance affects your grades that's why yes. and your CGPA you know it's a very the biggest challenge in NCT is keeping up the CGPA yeah. and lastly for me I knew that university lecturers would not be as strict as high school so I was ready for it since we are allowed to do anything one in the class <laughs> and also we should all be independent yeah, like yeah. if you uh, don't have the what, uh, capability yeah capability to learn it by yourself you have to go pursue uh, pursue him or her by yourself yeah it's very hard yeah true also i'm sorry but uh, we forgot to ask about the relationship <laughs> You're back to that question. Yeah. Basically, I'm not ready for it yet. So, and do you have any boyfriend? Or crush? Uh, crush, maybe yes, maybe no. It's like it's every day. It's changing. <laughs> did, did your crush you in your time? Yeah. So if, if you're I have no crush. <laughs> you have anything if to anyone say? likes that thing, can come and contest. Maybe you can share your number here. Yeah. yeah no, no. <laughs> Okay, how about how your max friends? Oh, when I when I first came in here, uh, you have the short semester where only all the diploma students are in UTEM. So at that time, I get to meet uh, with new people. Like we go into the same house, same dorms, same room. I'm so jealous with him now. I go with online and there is no. I don't meet any people. I need to. I need to uh, message everyone and need to keep so, updated with them. Uh, I didn't even get to get a chance to meet my lecturers, you know. Mm. It's like every WhatsApp, WhatsApp, you know. <laughs> and also when I first came, and uh, when I get to start a conversation with new people, they are very friendly, like then what we call uh, if the person on the page is a dry tester, they always talk back to us. Mm. Okay, so uh, it is easy. To, uh, to get to know them and make make friends with them so that's how I get my friends is it you when you facing your friend in real life is it they sweet your vibes I mean like some people they might have a two, um, two, di two different vibes in chat and also in real life did you can you sing with them yeah sometimes Yes, sometimes no. How about you? My friend knows me that uh, my ability that I could blend it with any people. So I don't mind if they're like that. Like but you. if I don't really like them, I just, uh, hey, please don't do that. Uh, if you want to be friend with me, please don't be like that, man. Uh, you are good straight. <laughs> You're giving straight to people. Can mingle with anyone. Yeah, I can mingle with I think it wouldn't be hard for you to find a girlfriend. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so all this while you were in in UTEM, right? Did you people experience any cultural shock in UTEM? Hmm, about that, uh, I was in body school uh, when I was in form 1 to form 5 and when I came here, uh, I got uh, to stay in a hostel and it is not uh, that shocking because 
um, all of the students that I meet is the same age as me and if they are older or younger, it's not the, the, the age gap, it's not so big. So it's easier to get connected with them instead of we can uh, what we call uh, chat with them casually and not like we, we, we are chatting with elderly, you know. Yeah. Yeah. We can blend with them. Yeah, we can blend with them. So how about you, Dashni? <laughs> for you? For me, it's okay lah. It's okay. Yeah. Okay, it's good. So, besides that, uh, also I have this question, like, the biggest challenge university students always face are finding group mates. Yes. Do, you, do on, you experience? Yeah, based yeah, on your experience, can you guys share about your group mates? Oh. The, the type of group mates you all get mm. so far. So far, all my groupmates are good. They they do their work on time. They don't procrastinate their work, so that it's not rushing for us to finish our assignments and all that. So I'm grateful that all of them are hardworking and we help each other, in, no matter in what way. So for us, I suppose we have met a lot of groupmates because we have done a lot of group projects, right? Throughout yes. these two years. A lot of them. So how was it for you? Like, did it meet your expectations? For now, um. So far, my groupmates are doing good, but I do hear a lot of a lot of complaints from my friends. Hey, come on, man! My groupmates like this, they don't they don't do their work. They they take it for granted, and they don't they, need they, commitment. Uh, they even know? come ready to me, bro. What will I do? <laughs> so Zati, how about your groupmates? Uh, I think I'm I'm already choose. Uh, sometimes if uh, lecturer set up the group, I really didn't like cause. Um, we do not know who we working with, but uh, from that we get to know them, and sometimes we make it new friends. Yeah. But the challenge part for me is uh, we uh, we arrange our schedule as a student. Yeah, it's time management is very important as a student. Afif, I think that you are active as a student. So, is it your uh, you have a hectic uh, schedule? Uh. And to, how you deal with that very much? To be honest, yeah, at first, uh, I experienced a lot of, you know, it's very frustrating, you know, because uh, I have to I have to do two works at the same time. And then, day by day, I get to uh, adapt myself to, okay, this is okay, uh, this you can put uh, side work, that I can manage it properly, okay. You see, uh, this, when it's due date, oh, it's tomorrow, okay, I'll do this first. That is how I manage my work and I try to, if someone is about to offer me a job that you have to do that, okay, can you tell someone else to do that because I don't see he's doing uh, any work so I think he can manage it and by doing that, I can teach him to experience on how to do that work so that uh, that will not always be me to get it done. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Sometimes we should, we should brave to say no to something. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, how about you? Did you, did you have a hectic schedule or you just a basic schedule? For me, it was a hectic schedule <laughs> because we had assignments coming and finishing on the same day. There were three assignments that we had to finish on the same day. So it's quite a really hectic because so we had... I assume you're experiencing that uh, you have three assignments at on the same due, right? Yes. So. <laughs> I can deal with that. And um, you want to add some? Um, no, I just, I'm just wondering like, do you guys have any, uh, do you guys have any questions to ask? Me and Zati? Hmm. Mm, for now, how is uni life? For now, I think it's quite better because when we came here, I think Afif and Zati knows when we Came here, right? We were doing online classes and all, and now we get to experience the real life. We get to go out, we get to go to classes, and we, like I'm getting the university life. And right now we are in hybrid, uh, hybrid. Um, yes. Yeah, but this we are already in final weeks, right? But it's quite hectic, so tiring. You know? The assignments and all. That it? How about your? I think I love to hybrid uh, situation because we uh, we face that and we have feeling for that. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Like sometimes 
the attending online classes are like relaxing, you know. Yes. In between these hectic classes, like we don't have to think. Like, we have, we have to, to go again. Yeah, we yeah. wake up early and catch the bus, you know, uh, 7.30 is the first bus in Utah. Yeah, if you miss that bus, you're going to be late for face-to-face -face class. I as think. you are from FKM, right? Yes. You all have to go outside campus. Monday to Friday, every day we have face-to-face -face class. Uh, I think I'm going to stop here. Yeah. Uh, do you have something to add on or encourage people to join your club or, or any promotions or any words? Simple um, to all the students, uh, don't think that you go to the university for only study. Try to get connected with people and try to find some experience to join in your organization because it will teach you uh, an important value of life in the future. That's all for me. And actually, don't forget to have fun in uni life. Don't always stick with homework, studies, and all. Try to find time for yourself, enjoy life and all. Yeah, what's unique in life without yes. fun, right? Because once you get married, you don't get to face <laughs> all the, yeah, the fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's all from us for tonight. Uh, this is Where is the Coffee last episode. Uh, and resigning for this set. Bye! Bye. <laughs>